Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about how to calculate the capacitor rating for a single phase induction motor. As we know that the three phase induction motor is a self starting machine, but the single phase induction motor is not a self starting machine. In order to make the single phase motor as a self starting motor, we are using capacitor. If you want to know how the capacitor make single phase induction motor as a self starting motor then please comment in the comment section i will make separate video on it but here in this video we are going to discuss how to calculate the capacitor size or capacitor rating for a single phase induction motor when you will observe single phase induction motor then you will always find one or two capacitor are connected with that single phase induction motor in ceiling Sometimes you can see one capacitor and sometime in some of the ceiling fan you will find two capacitor. Even if you will see industrial motor of single phase you will find one capacitor along with the motor. The purpose as I told you in beginning of my video is to make the single phase motor as a self starting motor because the single phase motor is not a self starting motor unlike three phase induction motor which is self starting. In order to make the single phase induction motor as a self starting motor, we are using capacitor. If there is a one capacitor in the single phase induction motor, then that capacitor is used to start the motor. And if you will find in some of the motor, the two capacitor of two different rating, then one capacitor which have the lower rating is for the starting of the single phase induction motor. And the another capacitor which have the higher rating compared to other one is for running the motor. But here in our video, our motto is to know how to calculate the capacitor size for the single phase induction motor. So let's start this one. You have always seen that in the induction motor, there is one rating mentioned. Like here, it is mentioned as 2.50 microfarad. So this value we want to know for our particular motor. So the formula to calculate the capacitor rating in microfarad is P in what? into efficiency of the motor in 2000 divided by voltage square into frequency. So you have to remember this formula to get the capacitor rating for a particular motor. What is the formula? C in microfarad is equal to power in watt into efficiency in 2000 divided by voltage square into frequency. So now let us calculate one capacitor size for a particular motor. Here there is a exhaust fan which is a single phase induction motor here you can see that the watt is mentioned 180 watt okay so as per the formula c in microfarad is equal to p into efficiency into 1000 divided by voltage square into frequency so we know the p as this motor rating is 180 watt so i mentioned 180 watt efficiency you can take 100 percent or you can take 90 percent as the efficiency is not mentioned in the single phase induction motor but generally the efficiency lies between 85 percent to 100 percent so i mentioned here 90 thousand is a constant divided by single phase voltage the single phase voltage is given here 220 or 240 so i took the value in between them that is 230 so voltage square into frequency as we know that in india the frequency of our power supply is 50 so i mentioned 50 if i will calculate i got the value of 6.12 microfarad so I can say that for this induction motor of 180 watt, we need a capacitor of 6.12 microfarad. Now let us take another example. Here you can see that the motor rating is given as 1 HP or 0 0.75 kilowatt. Okay. And the voltage is given as 230 volt. Okay. Here the microfarad is also given in this motor. It means by you by looking at the nameplate, you can know that this induction motor required 24 microfarad of capacitor. But let us calculate by using this formula and we will check that our calculated microfarad value for the capacitor is same as in the nameplate or not. So we will use the same formula capacitor in microfarad is equal to power in watt into efficiency in 2000 divided by voltage square into frequency. So here the power rating of the motor is given as 0.75 kilowatt so here i have to keep the value in watts so i will put in 2000 so it will come as 7 
150 watt efficiency here also not mentioned so i took the efficiency as 85 percent in 2000 divided by voltage square so voltage is given 230 into 230 into 50 as a frequency so when we we calculate we got the value of 24.10 microfarad which is very close to this right so we can use a capacitor which the next standard available size capacitor is available in the market so we can use a 25 microfarad capacitor for this induction motor single phase induction motor now let us calculate one more capacitor rating for a bigger size of motor here you can see that the motor rating is given as 2.2 kilowatt i hope you can see this one it is very light but here mentioned kilowatt 2.2 kilowatt okay and the voltage is mentioned as 240 so i use the same formula capacitor in microfarad is equal to power in watt into frequency into 1000 divided by voltage square into frequency so what is the power here 2.2 kilowatt so 2.2 into 1000 will become as a watt into 75 percent here also the efficiency is not given so i consider if the size of the motor is more bigger then we have to take a efficiency bit lesser as the winding in that motor will be more so the losses will be more in that way the efficiency will be less so in in by considering that i took the efficiency as 75 percent in 2000 the voltage is given 240 240 into 240 and the power frequency is always 50 hertz in india so or in ua so when we calculate this one we got the microfarad value as 57.2 microfarad here in the name plate you can also ob observe that the microfarad value is given as 55 microfarad so in market 55 microfarad capacitor is available so we can use 55 microfarad capacitor for this induction motor hope you got this video informative and you learn something new from this video if you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it is a very short video but very informative as in next time if you want to change the capacitor of your ceiling fan then calculate the capacitors rating and then buy a capacitor as per your ceiling fan rating power rating moreover to that if you bring a capacitor which is less than our required less than our calculated rating then the fan speed will be very low and even if you will bring a capacitor more than our calculated value then the motor will heat up very fast and it will reduce the lifespan of the motor so next time when you are going to buy a capacitor for your ceiling fan to replace with the old one either you have to check the capacitor which is old one and the same rating capacitor you have to find and if you don't have the old capacitor then go for this formula c is equal to p in p into efficiency into thousand divided by voltage square into frequency in order to calculate the correct size of capacitor as the wrong size capacitor will make your fan low when you underrated the capacitor and if you overrated the capacitor then your fan will heat up very early and it will reduce the life lifespan of the of your fan i will end up this video here we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much